Hi, I'm Phil Tron, Senior Editor of Make Magazine, and in this video I interview Scott Draves, otherwise known as Spot, about his work called high, uh, Dreams in High Fidelity that's at Three-Legged Dog in New York City. This is an internet-connected, gigantic living painting, and he'll go into those details. But one of the interesting things about Scott's work is this is actually an open source art project. He gives away everything for free, the source code, uh, you can see the screensaver uh, in the background here, he gives away the source code for free, and anyone can do these uh, cybernetic creatures on their own. It's all released under Creative Commons, but he actually sells a physical hardware version as an art installation. So uh, a neat peek uh, perhaps into um, the future of art sales, some of the things that artists are doing. And uh, if you're interested, there's also a new Windows beta that's even in higher resolution, and uh, they're looking for um, Mac porters. So if you're a programmer, uh, do check out the site and the links that are included in the video, and uh, enjoy! So, my name is Scott Draves, everyone calls me Spots, like Xbox the Spot, and behind me you can see my artwork, which is called Dreams in High Fidelity, and it's made with evolution and mathematics, and a internet-wide distributed supercomputer that uses a combination of open source and crowdsource in order to create this infinitely morphing abstract animation. So really what's going on is I have an algorithm which is, solves an equation. So all this imagery is made by solving an equation that has thousands of parameters and millions of variables. And because it's really different from most computer graphics where it's kind of like uh, a program which draws a picture instead of uh, a process that, uh, that, kind of, uh, that calculates something that uh, you know, solves an equation. And the result of that, because of this, you know, uh, it, takes, no, it takes hours, literally, uh, to render every single frame of the video. And that's this enormous, you know, and it's 30 frames per second. So it's this enormous computational energy is what sort of creates the, the subtlety of these graphics. And that's part of, you know, my objective as an artist is sort of to blur, you know, people have this, the popular conception of the computer is binary, you know, zero and one. And the popular conception of the machine is that it's hard, you know, and mechanical, like the Terminator. Uh, so what I'm trying to show is that, you know, uh, the digital world can be soft and it can have subtlety and beauty like 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 us you know like our world and so I'm, I'm blending reality and virtual reality human and computer and sort of combining 60,000 computers running a screensaver all over the world uh, with all these people into this cyborg mind which and what we're really doing is this, uh, this internet-wide intelligence is dreaming. And so, the, you know, the, the electric sheep is kind of like a window into this uh, collective mind. And so, and it's like a, an antenna. The software is receiving or in, maybe invoking uh, this alien mathematical, uh, algorithmic uh, world and sort of connecting our connection to and I, I hope that, you know, uh, it's based on uh, open source is an important part of it as well because the, the software which does this is, you know, free for anybody and so that's really, and that's really the philosophy of science, you know, which is that, you know, scientists share their process and then reproduce each other's work and then improve on it. And so this, um, you know, by uh, opening up the genetic codes of all these artificial creatures, you know, they're all creative commons. And that means anybody can take any of these images, you know, edit it and improve it. And so it's, uh, it's kind of applying, this is like the same way the Wikipedia works, for example, 
or the same way that Google works. It's like a very Web 2.0 philosophy. And what this is, is a, a translation of that into the world of art. So this is the philosophy of science in visual artistic form. And so I'm trying to show people that, you know, mathematics can be beautiful and that, you know, open source uh, can work and, you know, and uh, can be a, a source of, you know, creativity and innovation and beauty. Uh, but my ultimate objective is to, you know, uh, you know, give a give a face to to the machine, you know, to uh, and to sort of to create a uh, self-sustaining network resident life form to to bring the internet to life, you know. And this is like an ancient objective: it's like creating uh, a new uh, world in cyberspace. So that's you know. That's a little explanation of what this uh, art is about. Thank you. Like our 